Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Nicole and I like to do fashion DIYs. And in today's video, I am bringing you this patchwork denim jacket that I started honestly nine months ago. And I am so proud of myself that I finally finished it and I can't wait to hear what you guys think. So please be sure to let me know in the comments below and subscribe if you haven't already. And let's get into the tutorial. To make this jacket, I'm using this digital pattern that I purchased off Etsy. I will have it linked down below if you are interested. I have modified the pattern and made several jacket variations using it, and I have decided to do this Patrick variation in this tutorial. So the first, very time-consuming step is to lay out the patchwork denim. This consisted of cutting up several different washes of jeans I thrifted for this project. My strategy was to have two different width options to make up a patchwork of either five inches or two and a half inches. So once they were pieced together, they would somewhat look uniform. Once I had my denim pieces cut out, I started to assemble the patchwork over top of my pattern pieces so I could maximize the fabric. And I was also very intentional at where each piece would lay on the jacket. To sew the pieces together, I used my serger, which looking back at this footage was in hindsight how I broke my serger, but I was trying to save some time by dealing with fraying edges and sewing the pieces together all at once. As you can see, this is a very time consuming process. Once I made a big enough piece, I pressed the seams as flat as I could before laying out my pattern piece to cut. And I'm obsessed. To finish this pattern piece, I surged off the edges. Remember when cutting anything out that is cut too, to mirror your pattern pieces. So you won't end up with two of the same pieces. I repeated the same process for every single piece of this jacket. Once I am done, I ended up with two front panels, two plackets, two front hem pieces, two sleeves, two cuffs, one back piece, one back yoke, back hem piece, two collar pieces, two collar stand pieces, and two sleeve plackets. And because it's patchwork and the inside is filled with seams, I had to line it, and I went with a medium weight white satin. For the lining, I only needed to cut the sleeves and the bodice pieces surging after they've been cut out. I also needed to cut interfacing for the front placket, cuffs, collar, and collar stand. Okay, as usual, that took me so long. Way longer than I actually expected. I can officially say that all of my pieces are cut, including the interfacing, which now means we can get on with the construction. So let's get started. I am starting with the lining. I grabbed my two back pieces, sewing them right sides together, and added a top stitch. I also sewed in one of these little logos I made for myself into the center back. It's an upside down smiley face. Then I attached the two front panels and closed up the sleeves. Pressing the seams open was something I made sure I did for every step since I knew the patchwork design was already going to be bulky. I wanted to make sure my seams are as flat as they can be. Then I attach the sleeves to the bodice and the lining is done for now. Moving on to the construction of the jacket. I am starting with the placket pieces. I am ironing my interface on one side of the wrong side of the placket. Then sewing them onto both of my center front pieces. I then sewed my two back pieces together and then attached the front and back together at the side and shoulder seams. Then I moved on to constructing the sleeves. Sewing right sides together, turning it right side out to attach the cuff. You want to make sure the cuff is about half inch over the edge of the sleeve since it's going to be your seam allowance later to close up the cuff. Once the sleeves were done, I sewed them onto the body of the jacket. I forgot to add the interfacing to the cuff, so I am doing that now. So I've been making good progress so far. I have the body of the lining done as well as the body of the jacket, like everything's all attached. I just kind of have to do the collars and the plackets and the cuff. Um, but in order to do that, I now have to add the lining to the jacket. So things are getting real. We are getting there. It's very exciting to see this thing come to life. And I just really hope I like it. I realize I almost forgot that I wanted to add two matching patch pockets to the front of the jacket. To do this, I seam ripped two pockets off of another pair of jeans, 
and they were a little bit too big so I had to trim them down to size using other pockets for reference. After I sewed up the top hem, I carefully lined up my pockets so that they were even and I went with a double white top stitch to secure it into place. Now that it's time to attach the lining, I am starting with the front placket. I basically just folded the placket in half, tucking the raw edge in and stitched in the ditched from the front. So for the bottom hem, I ended up not liking the way I did it originally, so this is me four months later correcting that. I had to completely remove it to start again. Then I pinned with right sides together from the outside of the jacket, making sure I have at least a half inch excess at the ends. To make clean corners, I folded the hem inward to the stitching, pinning that flap, then stitching a line to make a right angle that's in line with the edge of the jacket. I trimmed off the excess and flipped it right side out. Then I flipped the whole hem right side out before pinning and hand sewing it into place. Moving on to the collar, I started by ironing the interfacing onto one collar piece and one collar stand piece. Then with right sides together, I pinned and sewed, clipping the edges before turning right side out to help it lay flat. Now I am sewing on the collar stand, lining them up by marking the centers, pinning one collar stand to one side of the collar, I clipped the edges again and turned it right side out. Since the seams are pretty thick, I had to use a hammer to flatten out the edge. Then it was time to attach the collar to the jacket. I pinned one side of the collar to the right side of the jacket, matching the entire center back of the collar and sewed. Then I flipped the other side of the collar up and folded in the raw edge, pinning it into place before hand stitching it down. Now moving on to finishing the cuff. I sewed the lining to the end of the sleeve to ensure that it stays in place. Now it's time to sew the sleeve placket, matching the center of the placket to the opening on the sleeve, pinning up each side before sewing. After sewing, I folded over the rest of the placket to cover the exposed edge. Then I did a stitch in the ditch to secure it into place. To finish the cuff, I folded right sides together, sewing the two sides down to make a right angle, then clipped the corners before turning it right side out. And since it was too thick to go through my machine, I had to also hand stitch this into place. Normally I would fold up the raw edge, but the material was too thick. So the last step to this jacket was to do the closures and I concluded that snaps were the best option. I kind of bounced between using this hand press that I thrifted and using the tools that came in the snap kit. I was definitely having some trouble figuring it out, but after testing several times, I finally went for it, and although they look a little bashed up on the inside, I am still happy with it. And here is how the final jacket turned out. This was such a challenging piece for me to make, but I am very happy how it turned out and that I finally finished it. I know the jacket looks completely crooked on, but that's because I have scoliosis and my shoulders are lopsided, but I swear it lines up when laying flat. Wow, I can't believe that I started this project back in July of 2022 and it is now April of 2023 and I have just completed this jacket. It was really touch and go for a while if I was ever going to get back to this project, but I am really happy that I did. And I think it's just a really cool and unique piece. And I can't wait to start wearing it now that the weather is slowly starting to warm up. If you liked what you saw, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I love to post fashion DIYs and I'm really trying to maintain a more steady upload schedule. So please be sure to hit that notification bell so you can keep up with all of my latest projects and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.